Contrary to popular belief, creating expectations can actually be something that is more harmful than it is helpful in your life, your business, your relationships, etc. And I'm going to explain to you why that is here in this video, if you just pay attention till the end, you'll get the golden nugget that you're looking for. And I'm going to make a distinction here, right? Because, you know, setting expectations is something that's taught a lot in personal development, you know, law of attraction, spiritual concepts, blah, 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 blah. You've heard it before, setting expectations for results. Uh, that's a different concept than what I'm, what I'm going to be talking about today. Setting expectations is one of the things that you should be doing anyway because you're setting expectations for yourself uh, to hit certain milestones, hitting certain targets, etc., etc. But when it comes to creating expectations that go beyond just yourself, that's where things become a double-edged sword, right? So I'm going to explain to you a few concepts so that it kind of sinks in so you can see why and how you might be doing these things, you know, subconsciously or not even realizing that you're doing them and so you can start to to, to make tweaks and, and changes, right? So I know that growing up, there were times when I had an expectation of how I wanted things to turn out and I left it up to everybody else. And what happened was is I always had my hopes and dreams crushed, right? So you've had expectations work like that before, but I'm going to take it one step further. And so if you can imagine, you know, you're you're dating somebody new, and they start to like you a lot. You guys are having fun. But then they start calling you all the time. They start wanting you to do all these things with them all the time. They start expecting you to, you know, read their mind and know exactly what they want you to do. And beyond that, they start to form these expectations. Things that they expect from you that they probably haven't even talked to you about. And guess what happens? You become repulsed, right? Like you want to spend less and less time. Uh, you want more distance. That person you might be described as clingy because they're 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 having all these expectations of how often you should hang out with them, do stuff with them, and on and on. The same thing happens whether you're in a relationship or not. That if you're setting expectations on other people, you're asking for trouble. You're asking for trouble. You know, if you're expecting somebody to drop everything they're doing and like come mentor you, for example, and help you because they're in a better position than you are, that kind of expectation is going to work counter to the objective that you would like in that case, which is having mentoring, right? And that's the double-edged sort of expectation is that when you have expectations of other people, especially things that you haven't brought voice to, they want to resist you. Because people can feel when you have an expectation of them and they don't actually want to do anymore. They don't want to do what it is that you actually expect of them. So it doesn't work for you to create expectations because people will react and they'll resist you, right? And you don't want to create expectations because guess what? An expectation that's unspoken can ruin a, a friendship and ruin a relationship before it ever starts. And that, my friend, is the double-edged sword of, of expectation. And I could share some other things with you about that, but for now, we'll leave it at that. And if you like this video, make sure to go ahead and click the like button below. Comment if you had any questions or want to talk about what we talked about in this video and share it with your friends. And if you're on YouTube, make sure you click that subscribe button because I'm shooting lots of videos these days, uh, just bringing the inspiration to you as often as possible. So that being said, I'm Avery Gonzalez, and I will see you soon.